When it's heated, nitinol pulls itself into a preset shape. That shape can be set by a heat treating process. Once it cools off, it's compliant again. Seeing the experimental work done with nitinol decades ago, I decided to order some springs and design and build a nitinol heat engine. This is one design that I've come up with for a nitinol spring driven generator for making electricity. The idea is that you have this wheel and there are two sliding rods that can slide back and forth like this and a nitinol spring at the end of each one. The spring is connected at one end to the wheel and at the other end connected to the sliding rod so that if the spring contracts, it pulls the rod like up like that into the wheel. When the wheel comes around and the spring dips down into the hot water, that causes this rod to be pulled up, which makes the top heavier. Now it has to come down like this. This other arm is now dipped down into the water. That spring contracts. This side continues to fall, and as this comes into the water, the spring pulls that up. I had thought about a few possible ways of storing energy for the greenhouse, including underground compressed air tanks, using a vertical access wind turbine to drive the compressor, and large thermal storage system, basically a huge well insulated tank of water which is what I decided on using. The idea is that there will be a solar thermal energy collector, basically a pipe inside of a parabolic mirror trough, and that will heat water that will be pumped in and out of a large well insulated tank in the ground to store the thermal energy. And I considered a Stirling engine, but because of the low temperature that would probably be stored in the water, a Stirling engine would be hard to get working right, so I decided to that a uh, water wheel powered by nitinol in the hot water would be a good idea. It would be similar to the large water wheels that sometimes are used on creeks for grinding mills or whatever other purpose, but instead it would just be powered by the heat of the water collected from the sun. The idea is that the system could be sized to where even on a cloudy day in the winter it would collect enough energy to make up for what the night and all wheel is consuming. And the hot water tank would be sized to where the energy stored in it is more than enough for it to run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week because it stores heat through the night even though it's only collecting heat during the day and the goal for the sizing of the wheel would be to produce about three to five hundred watts continuously all year round.